Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to finalize this uh, still life project by setting up the lighting. And we set up this uh, sort of studio backdrop because we wanted to use a studio lighting setup. And this setup is pretty common in studio lighting. It's also very common in the theater and it's common when you're filming interviews and things like that where the subject is sort of sitting still and not moving around. And the setup we're talking about is high key lighting. And it involves three lights. A key light, a fill light and a backlight. And the backlight is also sometimes called a hair light because sometimes it's put uh, above the subject to sort of make their hair glow and give them kind of a halo. So let's get started. I think for this you're going to want to have active shade turned on in your uh, perspective viewport. And we're going to move our lights around in the top viewport. Right now I have a light in my scene. I have one Arnold light with a target and I'm going to move that target sort of on the wine bottle so I can just sort of move everything around that and this target light if we zoom out a little bit is above the scene and so I think I'm going to use this light as my key light so I'm going to select this light and move it down and off to one side and if I look at it in the front viewport you'll see that it's sort of high and off to one side. And this is going to act as the key light. And what this light is going to do is create shadows on the scene. So it's going to deliberately put one side of the scene in shadow. So with that light selected I'm going to come to its settings and I'm going to brighten that up Now the key light in the scene is always the brightest light. I'm going to pull that down a little bit and see if I get a better look. And now because we've created shadows on this side of the scene with our key light, we need now a, a light to fill in those shadows and this light is called the fill light. And this light is going to be opposite the key light shining from this direction to fill in the shadows. So in my top viewport with my key light selected I'm going to hold down shift and drag another light over to the other side and this will be my fill light. Now the fill light should be lower in the scene than the key light and it should also not be as bright because all we're trying to do is fill in the shadows. We're not trying to eliminate them. So let's pull that down a little bit and maybe pull down the exposure a little bit. Now remember we want the shadows, we just don't want them to be very very dark. So I'm going to try brightening that up just a little bit more. And now we need that third light that's called a backlight or a hair light. So let's uh, select one of our lights, probably the fill light, hold down shift and drag this light, a copy of this light, over sort of behind the subject. And then let's move this down. And you can clearly see the highlight that it's making on the apples and that is precisely what we want. Now I'm going to run my simulation. I'm not going to make you watch it happen and see what it looks like in the final render. And that looks exactly like what I want. I think though that I want to make my wine label less shiny. So I'm going to select that material and kill the reflections and dial up the roughness. So this is what we ended up with. As you can see it looks very nice. You can clearly see here the highlights from the backlight or the hair light. And you can clearly see the reflections of the key light and the shadows created by the key light. And you can also see that the fill light has filled in some of the shadows but not eliminate them. And that is exactly what we're looking for. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.